I was going to say, what do we do? Do we, like, comply with what everyone is comfortable with? Or do we, like, shake shit up? My answer is going to be the last. Shake <laughs> A lot of people think that films like The Fault in Our Stars misrepresent our youth. How would you like to see those kind of characters portrayed? So my understanding of cancer and the treatments that follows it came, totally came from what I saw in the media. I think that what should be portrayed more are some of the dark, really, really dark and lonely moments um, that we've all experienced. Um, I think that would be a much more accurate depiction of what this ex experience has been like. Primarily because it always involves a love story um, that works out so perfectly, or not so perfectly, but um, other than the love story and that aspect of it, just kind of the more raw, real moments that a cancer patient is actually going through. Um, I do think these kind of movies misrepresent um, cancer as young adults. Um, there's this new show in its first season called Chasing Life and um, Stupid Cancer is consulting on it so they had said oh it's going to be much more relatable to young adults like a 24 year old going through it but yeah first episode was the love story and the chemo was only one episode and she was done and like it was just really like I was really surprised I know they have to make it like interesting to you know it's not a documentary but it was just like really surprising the default setting of the characters being white. In The Fault in Our Stars, her race is not specified. When they shot the movie, it was a white girl and it was a white guy. Their races were not specified in the book. I read the book and I watched the movie. It was a great movie. I liked it. I thought it was really cute. I really liked the book as well. But it's just, cancer has many different colors. It has many different races. It has many different genders. I feel like just one story is being told and I feel like there's a lot of loopholes that get left out in the whole cancer story being told in these movies and you know not everybody it doesn't always end up as a love story and it doesn't always end up being just two white heterosexual couples it's it's lots of different couples sometimes it's people who are single the more they're portrayed the more opportunity there is to show diversity and kind of experiences and perspectives and you know the, the narrative can then have a little more opportunity to be different and that there's not just these two kind of go-to's that kind of have these similar narratives like the more we're telling these stories the more opportunities for other stories to kind of bubble up. I'll just be the first one to say so far like, I've never seen that movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it either so <laughs> I purposely didn't see it. So I, I don't know I mean I'm just guessing it's a, a sappy cancer story like walk to, re walk to remember is it? Yeah I remember that one. I decided after my cancer treatments uh, I wanted to be a documentarian because seeing all this bull that they put out there, it's so fabricated that it doesn't give the realism of what actually goes on. I don't think that there are a lot of people who could handle what we go through. If you yeah. capture it in its authenticity, in the moment where what we do is an instantaneous reflex as survivors, when we go through it, to not go through those shoes, to not understand that perspective, most people would just sort of fold <laughs> into themselves because now their perspective on reality has shifted. Where. It's not only this is a real person in front of me, but oh God, it could be someone I actually know.